This looks clean. Shit, so we shut it down. <laughs> GL? What does that mean? GI? What, GI Joe? What do you, what do you mean? Cookies! What is this? Did you already beat the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? This man is just... Uh, hes He needs his next dose of coke, bro. What is wrong with him? Thank, thank you. For everything. The time machine has finally... He has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. Oh, GL, good luck. Pro of you, ma ma Sorry, you were a lot of the dad. Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to the time machine detected. Threat to the time machine detected. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. <laughs> An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending somethings. <laughs> What's keeping the time machine running truly all oh, the professor something? Blocking all Pokeballs except those registered to Turo's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing, gathering, terrestrial, energy. Um, sorry, children. This is too much for you. <laughs> you must run. Alright, I'm having a little bit too much fun with the voice acting. AI Turo, disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol, initiated. Oh no. What's happening now? You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Turo. You are challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. Ah! You're done now. Round two! You bitch! No! <laughs> We've been cock blocked! Ah, this is great. <laughs> so, gameplay mechanics 10 out of 10. I love when my game bugs out. I'm just fucking with you. I guess it's part of the game. You cannot battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are you even supposed to battle? You cannot battle without a Pokemon on the field. Yeah! Some crazy electrical signals jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them to open. You cannot battle with a, a Pokemon on the field. That's totally cheating! And you call yourself an adult? You can't battle without a Pokemon on the field. Now, let me get in there. Let me throw some hands. Someone give me some boxing gloves right now. I'll throw down. And get me in here. Alright, so I'm assuming we're supposed to go ahead and grab Maridon, right? Because he's registered to Turo. I don't know where I would grab him. Here we go. That's why he's always at the bottom. I see. You cheeky bastards. Swap in. Oh! Oh! Oh, here we go. You're gonna win this time, buddy. Oh, why did he just move his head like that, bro? What are you in a music video? Yeah, woo, yeah. Let, let's do this. Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, he's leveling up. Oh, he's going Super Saiyan Blue. Oh! 
thrusters on. Bitches had. We're ready. It's time to square up. Hadron engine. That building we're right on turned into the ground into an electric type, I think it said? Electric terrain, there we go. Power gem, what is that? The user attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. Rock type. The user races forward at ultra fast speeds, piercing its target with futuristic electricity. This move's power is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective hit. The user endures any attack with at least 1 HP. If the user was thrashed alive, it unleashes energy of its terra type. No, I guess our best would probably be this, since we have the electric terrain. Taunt? Oh, you're gonna get it. Don't worry about it. You're gonna get these hands. Oh, you don't gotta taunt me. Electro Drift! Oh, I wonder if you know! Oh, he knows. He definitely knows. It changed into its battle form. Let's go! Maridon, you got this! Alright, let's see what we got. We got a power gem. Let's see how much that does. You will fall here within the Garden Paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Oh, power gem. Oh, yo, what the fuck? Nah, bro. Come here. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're losing this. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Okay, he's charging up. This is our chance. Get ahead and dance. Oh, no, but he's charging power. No! Special fence rows. Fuck! All we have are special attacks. Why don't I shook off the taunt? This looks like it'd be bad. Uh, hang in there, cookies. I guess we gotta endure here? Oh, uh, no, no. The data say I am the superior foe and become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. Alright, so we endure here. Maridon braced himself. Oh, Hyperbeam! Maridon endured the hit. You took that like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. All we have are special attacks. I know, bro. Special attack rose. Max Potion this. Which one will I use it on? Oh, I wonder who. Right on the Guardian of Paradise. What a fucking title, bro. Shit looks, sounds dope. Pose has to recharge. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Cookies, your Terra Orb's glowing. Hey! Cookies, right on. Terrestrialize and finish this off! Pause! <laughs> Arvin, this is a family friendly stream. Maridon special defense rose. Maridon speed rose. Maridon rose. Jesus. Terrestrialize. Terra blast. The rising of Maridon. Horum. Yeah. What is he? A dragon type? Yeah, he is. Terra Blast! And dragon types are super effective to dragons! Ah! It's super effective! The opposing Maridon has fainted! Yeah! Woo! Oh, look at him! It's like he just got shot! Man got assassinated! You defeated the Paradise Program, I think it said. Yeah, woo, we did it boys, we got flashbanged, we're back in Call of Duty, you did it! It's, it's not going berserk anymore? Hell, oh, how very astounding to think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. 
Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Cookies. I thank all of you, children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I, myself, am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. You piece of shit. Take him out. Pull out the Glock. Come on, Nimona. I know you got it there somewhere. What, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way that you came together, working in your league with the fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves throwing all of you throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you faced blah 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 <laughs> faced down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you couldn't even talk more than two sentences. <laughs> the way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Agiki. <laughs> yeah, that's, his, that's right. You're right, huh? <laughs> ah, and the way you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might have been as free as you all. Free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else not bound your own treasure as long as i remain here the time machine will not stop for i am inextricably connected to it so i've made a decision i will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that i have dreamed of oh well you can't just leave now right when we finally reached you i'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped I also cannot deny my desire to see the future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the, of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No? I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin. Maridon. Cookies. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. <laughs> Best anime dub? Question mark. Farewell, my free travelers or adventurers. I bid you adieu. This man's finna fly out of here. Oh my god. What's happening? He's floating! He really did turn fucking Super Saiyan. He's dipping. Oh! Oh, he got fucking beamed! Oh no! Oh shit. How could you just... Go? Dead. So Arvin's father is in Violet and his mom is in Scarlet. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So... The mom professor is his, you know, or the mom professor. The female professor is his mom in Scarlet, huh? I guess that makes sense. Dad. Arvin. You okay, bud? <laughs> I know you just went through some dramatic shit, and your, even your AI dad left you, uh... But you good? <laughs> you need something? A Snickers, perhaps? You're not you when you're hungry, Arvin. Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name, using his voice, 
He's wearing his face. Even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And I just, uh, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Honestly, I don't either. Low-key sexist. What are you talking about? It's not sexist. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Honestly, bro, just let it slide. This man's going through some fucking real trauma right now. Yas. I guess Maridon is sad too. Oh, but the battle form, how cool is that? So strong. Mom be in the past. What about it? If it tries to nudge at me for a belly robot it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. <laughs> hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Cookies and Maridon just saved all of Paldea. That's right. Excuse me. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Cookies. Yeah, that's my bud Cookies for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure on his own future. I, he's been gone for like five minutes, bro. He's probably lost his shit. Man doesn't know what's going on. AI or not. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. Honestly, Penny's the realest fucking writing right now because I wouldn't know what to say to a guy who just lost his dad twice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's rough. What should we do now, cookies? Let's go home, bro. I'm fucking tired. I need a nap. Just save the world. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Squad, bro. The fucking squad. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. Damn. It's like the Final Fantasy, like, 15 fucking walk home. Stand by me. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. I told you, bro, the Snickers is still here. Hey, cookies. Not you, too. <laughs> He's like, oh, come on, Arvin, let's go. Oh, all right, fine. Guess we're doing this. The music is nice and cheery. Triumphant. The squad. Is that it? Did we finally do it? We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally... Oh, no, copyright. But we finally done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have beat the actual story of Pokemon Violet, and that sushi looks delicious. I'm sorry, Tatsugiri. I'm finna slay all of you by eating you. Maridon kind of thick. Andre 2023, you heard it here first. Wow. I mean, it took me a month to finish that last segment, but that last segment was actually really cool. I really enjoyed that set piece. I think it was pretty dope, honestly. Um, I don't really know. Like, I, you know what? I love Sword and Shield. That's the thing. So, like, ranking this just, like, right off rip off my favorite Pokemon. Number one is Fire Red. Fire Red was just so good. It's that nostalgia one for me. I played it over and over. I played Pe Pokemon MMO before, where Fire Red was a set piece in that as well. And it was just, you know, it's it's like it, it, nothing's ever gonna beat it just because it was the original for me. I played Yellow before that. I played Crystal, and I don't know, none of them ever resonated with me. Like or I played the original Gold and Silver as well, and they never really hit like Fire Red hit for me. And that's really when I, like, understood what was going on in Pokemon and stuff like that. You know, once I finally grew up a little bit. And that's just the one that's always probably going to be number one for me. Unless they do, like, a hardcore tried and true remake to Fire Red or make a mature Pokemon, like I was saying before. I don't really think anything's going to top that for me. Number two, it's a real close tie between X and Y and Sword and Shield. 
I thought like, everybody and their mom hates on Sword and Shield. I actually think that game was great. I love the tournament system. I love the bosses. The world was cool. Dynamaxing was a neat feature. Every it was at the point where everything was starting to get streamlined for breeding and shiny hunting. So that was really good as well. And I love the raid system. I know it's in this game, but I haven't tried it out yet. But everything about that game I loved. I thought it was very innovative. It had the first open world segment that actually worked in my opinion. And then there's X and Y, which I think had just like... I enjoyed X and Y so much because the story was pretty cool. It talked about the war a lot, which I'm, an, I'm a super interesting topic for me in the Pokemon franchise. And then not only that, but just the Pokemon you got along the way were bangers. Every route had a fun, cool, interesting, unique, different type Pokemon, whether it be new or old. And I thought all the gym battles were really good and scaled appropriately, so that's another one which I was like, damn. The thing is, I can't really add like White and Black and White and Black 2 into that equation, because I never got through them. I, did, I, I was one of those people I hated, like, first, first reaction was I hated all the reactions. Or all the looks of all the new Pokemon. I thought they were kind of not good. Or watered down or whatever. I didn't really like almost anything. But looking back on it now, I'm like, those Pokemon were decent. But eventually I'll try White Black, White Black 2. To scale them in my favorite Pokemon. But again, Fire Red was one. XY. Sword and Shield tied for second, right? This would have to be a solid 3 for me, as of right now. Again, same stuff as Sword and Shield, where streaming seems super streamlined, leveling stuff up seems super streamlined. The plot was pretty, it was okay, but I love the open worldness to it that they brought in from Sword and Shield and they perfected from Arceus. I love that you can do any of the three campaigns at any given moment. Even the last ones if you really want to or if you can manage to do it. I've seen challenges on YouTube. I haven't seen them, but like, you know, the thumbnails and everything saying like, yeah, I'm going from strongest gym to weakest gym or whatever, right? And just that freedom alone, I think, gives this game so many dimensions. And not only that, but I think those side characters are really good. I think Penny, once you finally got like introduced and she's in the game, she's a decent character. She doesn't really get flushed out too much though. Um, Nimona was a great, she was a more one dimensional character with the battle, battle, battle and stuff. Thank you, treasured friends. But Arvin, man, I loved Arvin's plot, trying to save Mabastiff and everything. Oh, that is so wholesome. The end. <clears throat> And I love the squad. Uh, that's another thing I was going to say. I love that in this game you actually get a squad. And like you're all just kind of chilling. You all have different plot lines. But at the end of the day you all strive to the last one together. And I thought that was pretty fucking dope. If that happened in X and Y or Short and Shield. Like one or the other. That one would be high and above two. Instead of tied with the other one. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll be right back. I need to blow my nose real quick. All right, we are back. Let me grab a drink of water here and we can continue on. Scoot on into the mic here. <laughs> ding dong dong ding dong ding ding dong. Calling students to the director's office. Master Cookies, Miss Nomona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavo would like to see you in his office. Ding dong, ding dong. Dong, ding, ding dong. Your Pokedex has been updated. Ooh. How to change Maridon's form. If you select Maridon while the main menu is open, you can now have it change between its battle form and its ride form. Cool. Um, oh, DLC, right, I forgot this game got, like, DLC announced. I totally fucking forgot about that. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we will be playing the DLC, so stick around for that for sure. <clears throat> I 
All right. I'm trying to find the button for the Pokedex because I want to see what got updated and everything. Here we go. Looks oh, Maridon was the mo the last one updated. Oh, that looks pretty dope. Details. This seems uh, this seems to be the Iron Serpent mentioned in an old book. The Iron Serpent is said to have turned the land to ash with its lightning. Damn. So if this one had like a paradox name off rip and we didn't know it was Maridon, it would just be Iron Serpent. You know how everything else is like iron whatever. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, so let's go see Master uh, Clavel, or whatever his name is. Director Clavel, sorry. Director's office, yes. <clears throat> yeah, no, but I really liked the game. I thought it was really nice. I loved the plot, man. The plot was great. In terms of, like, the group dynamics, being able to branch off, do whatever you want, what type of style you want to play, right? I, th I thought it was awesome. Looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Cookies? Yes, of course, of course. We're in for an earful, aren't we? I guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the Professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be the prouder of you all. I know I messed up that sentence, but we're going to skip past that. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Huh, you got us there. However... Since this was necessary to prevent Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew. So we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Cookies, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. You've obtained a Master Ball! I was wondering where we were going to get ours. You put the Master Ball in your bag's Pokeball's pocket. The very best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago? That gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieved truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor that badge represents, or what that badge represents, by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. You can count on me, Director. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And, Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the Professor. You have my deepest condolences. Uh, well, yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. <laughs> Weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear for now, for the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve. Down there. <laughs> I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is, I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye, and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. And Mabistiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you have nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You truant piece of shit. <laughs> You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have very ex or I have every expectation of your success. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make you valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public, your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Yeah, always something, bro. Something you, you can never celebrate a good deed like that in the public for whatever reason in games like this. I don't know what it is, 
not even just like this type of game, but like L.A. Noir when you catch the killers, you know, you could never really truly be known because you had too many fuck ups in the way. It's just there's always something holding you back from the public knowing that you were the guy, you were the one. Oh, I know what we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Well, of course. Seriously. Could we not? <laughs> classic Nimona. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah, classic Nimona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona, I think it's a fine idea. But please, understand that a large scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, I couldn't help but over here. Oh, it's Gita. <clears throat> the Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. Is that Bay? No! Gita is not Bay, Andre. Not with that hairdo. I do everything in my power to nurture young and upcoming talent. Though, that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to the Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. Especially with the hair, Andre, you're weird. <laughs> as such, my suggestion is as follows. Student and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa! We'd get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right, Brimetta? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I know she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but... I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, oh, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if <laughs> Champion Cookies would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Where should I start? <laughs> Excellent answer. Much obliged, <laughs> Champion Cookies. <laughs> to get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect how they have various games in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as be beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and their prowess in battle. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, go serve, Bay. No! No! <laughs> they are all trainers of exceptional talent handpicked by me personally. Bro! We get another round of Larry? Are you out of your mind? Of course I'll do it! I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but... Well... Consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. And you get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. <laughs> now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Fuck! <laughs> She's like, God damn it! Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was gonna just binge, but... Uh, <laughs> you're done now. Thank you in advance for willing and eager cooperation. Bro, she's trolling! Look at her face, bro! She's actually trolling! She's just bullying us with her top champion status right now. Yeah, I mean... I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. <laughs> please. Oh god, please let me help. <laughs> Excellent. We'll leave it to you to... We'll leave it you... We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Penny's just like, bro, I'm trying to watch the new Demon Slayer arc in a week, come on. This is awesome, Cookies. Tell this inspection thing who's boss so that Mappy Meta can join our tournament, okay? 
and asking or and enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administration stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. Well, that's very nice of her. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Critical role, hey, I'm still not caught up. <laughs> Penny assisting the league, or new champion inspecting gym, Nomona arranging the event, give it your best everyone. Harvin just like, I guess I'll fucking eat a sandwich. <laughs> Gets my role so obvious it goes without saying. Yeah, no, he's literally gonna make sandwiches, isn't he? Oh my god, I was fucking kidding. 